jury by indicating to them where he's located, what he's wearing. He's sitting at the left of the defense. He has on a blue tie and a suit. Okay. And is that the individual that you recall encountering on December 7, 2012? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. Uh, where did you encounter him at? It was at the intersection of 4th and M Street. Okay. And is that here in Jefferson County, sir? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. Uh, do you recall what the weather was like? when you encountered him? I believe there was, it might have been slight rain. It was dark outside. Okay. And uh, I'm going to make the assumption that you just don't sit on 4th and M Street 24 hours a day. No, sir, I do okay. not. Okay. Was there some particular reason that you were located at 4th and M Street on December 7, 2012? Yes, uh, believe it or not, it's one of our hot spots for violent crime, just north of Churchill Downs, 4th and M Street. It's actually a relatively hot spot for prostitution, narcotics, and violent crime. We had received a tip a couple days prior from a known prostitute who said there was a black male with white pigmentation in his face who was robbing people. So we were in the area of 4th and M looking for this subject, uh, and that's why I happened to be sitting in 4th and M. I, I just stopped at the stop sign. We were actually patrolling that particular area that day. Okay. Now, prior to your encounter um, with Jonathan Masters on December the 7th, 2012, uh, can, you, can, you, can you give the uh, jury some idea of what was going on there uh, subsequent to the call that had come out uh, for the uh, potential robber? Basically, while I was at 4th and M, or yes. what happened when I? You know, first. While I had, because I was looking yes. for that possible robbery suspect. Okay. Did you all find that possible robbery no, suspect? Sir. No, sir, we did not. Did you notice anything that led you to believe that somebody may have been that possible robbery suspect? Yes, sir. What was that? As we were traveling east on M Street, to, uh, and I was approaching 4th, I saw a, a male on a bicycle traveling southbound in the alley that's directly west of 4th Street, so directly behind me. I saw him in my rearview mirror. At that exact moment, the tones came out over the, our radio channel, which the tones means that a serious offense had just happened. Basically, if there's people talking on the radio, on our police radios, the tones will go, burn, burn, and that's to say, hey, everybody listen. And so I saw who I thought could be my robbery suspect, tones are coming down. So I thought, man, this guy just committed a robbery. He was flying through the alley on a bicycle. So at that time, I, I started to do a U-turn. I checked both ways, didn't see any cars, didn't see any people. It was dark. I started to do a U-turn. As I was doing a U-turn, I was looking back over my shoulder trying to locate this person on a bicycle. My partner, Detective Browning, hits me and said, Joel, Joel, Joel. I'm sorry, I'm Joel. Uh, <laughs> said, watch out, watch out, watch out. I stopped. And directly in front of me now is Mr. Masters. I never saw him up until the point where I was in the middle of my turn. Okay. Now, and 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 I think that that's the question that I uh, that escaped me earlier. H had you met Mr. Masters before December 7, 2012? No, sir, I had not. Okay. Um, okay. So let me just take a step back and ask you, based on your uh, the testimony you just gave, you were not a, were, 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 were you alone on, on this evening? No, sir. Detective Browning was in the passenger seat. Okay. I was driving. What kind of vehicle were you in? We were driving, I believe it was a 2004 uh, white Chevy Impala. Okay. Uh, was this a marked police It was an unmarked, okay. unmarked vehicle. And uh, can you explain to ladies and gentlemen of the jury what kind of clothing you wore that night? Uh, that night I had on uh, kind of dark khaki Carhartt work pants. I had on a black Louisville Metro Police shirt that says Academy Iron Man. I earned it in the Academy. And I had on a flannel jacket and a baseball hat. Excuse me, Your Honor. Uh, Seen this, Mr. Stegman? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Right. Detective, uh, let, me, let me show you what I've marked as for purposes of identification as Commonwealth's Exhibit Number 1. Do you recognize that photograph? Yes, sir, I do. Who is that individual? That's me. Okay. Uh, is that 
Is that you on the uh, evening of December 7, 2012? Yes, sir, it is. Okay, does this photograph fairly and accurately depict the way you uh, looked on December 7, 2012? Yes, sir. Do you know when this photograph was taken? Uh, it was after our incident. I'm not sure exactly how long after our incident, but it was after. Okay. Your Honor, I'm going to move to Memphis as Commonwealth Exhibit number one. Any comment, Mr. Stuckman? Mr. Schultz? No objection, Your Honor. All right, so Commonwealth one will be admitted. May I call this No. Um, okay, and the, uh, do you recall what your partner was wearing on that evening? I actually think he had the same style pants I had on. I want to say he had on a gray hooded sweatshirt, and I'm not sure if he had a hat or a toboggan or what he had on. Okay. Did you have uh, any weapons on you at that time, sir? Uh, yes, sir. I had my department-issued pistol on my right side and an external holster so it's visible. And directly in front of that, my badge was sitting directly in front of my holster. So if somebody saw my gun, they would see my badge as well. I don't – so they know I'm the police. So that's why I have a gun. Okay. Let me just take you back to the, uh, uh, the uh, intersection. It, it, just so the jury can have a complete visual of this intersection. Can you tell the jury in what direction you were traveling on M Street prior to making your turn? I was traveling eastbound on M Street. Okay. And M Street, just for the record, is a east, east west. and west. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, 4th Street, north and south? Yes, sir. Okay. And now, you testified that you encountered Mr. Masters uh, shortly after you heard Detective Browning shout, Joel, Joel. Yes. Is that correct? What did you do after that? Uh, as he shouted my name and tells me, watch out, I stopped. Uh, it was wet outside. My brakes didn't skid or anything. I wasn't traveling fast. I just stopped right in the middle of the intersection. So I was actually blocking 4th Street. I uh, looked up in front of me, and Mr. Masters was standing there with his arms up in the air. Uh, Detective Brown yelled something to the extent of, get out of the way. Mr. Masters kept his arms up and continued to yell back at us, expletives, and uh, I either backed up or I just went directly around him. I do not recall, but I was able, he didn't move, I traveled around him. Did my U-turn, was going to continue back westbound on M Street to pursue who I thought might be a robbery suspect, at which point they finished dispatching the run and the robbery had occurred in the 5th Division over near now, the 5th Division would be over near Bardstown Road, so it was not anywhere close to me. So I knew, I knew that the person I was looking for, although may have committed a crime, wasn't the serious offense that I thought might have just occurred. Okay. And, Detective, can you explain to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury exactly where you recall Mr. Masters being or this defendant being in the intersection when you made that turn? When, when I encountered him, he was closer to the east side of 4th Street. So he hadn't crossed as much of the street to get to 4th Street, I guess I should say. So he was actually in the, what would be, northbound lane of 4th Street. Okay. Was he inside a crosswalk? Not that I recall. I don't believe there is crosswalks at 4th and M Street. Okay. So um, you mentioned that he was shouting something. Do yes. you recall what he was shouting? I don't recall exactly what he was shouting. I know I heard fuck. That's all I recall hearing. Uh, okay. And do, can, can you explain to the, to the uh, jury uh, what you recall his demeanor as being? I, it was definitely a threatening demeanor in the way he was holding his arms and shouting at us. Like I said, I couldn't hear exactly what he was shouting, but it was in a threatening way. Okay. Now, during the time that he was shouting to to you and uh, Detective Browning, did you at any time indicate or respond to him, or do you recall Detective Browning responding to him that you all were police? At that point, no. Okay. Um, I, let me just take you just a few steps ahead. At what point did you identify yourself as a police officer? Once I stopped and I started to open up my door. Okay. I immediately started yelling police. Okay, you started yelling police. When you stopped, do you recall what side of 4th Street or exactly where at 4th and M did you, did, did, that your vehicle rested? My car would have been facing southwest 
on 4th and M. So I was, I was more on M Street than I was 4th Street, but my vehicle was facing southwest. Okay. So, and then Mr. Masters was coming from the east. May I approach you on? Yep. Okay. And Detective, I have marked this for purposes of identification, Commonwealth Exhibit Number 2. Yes, sir. Let me show you this photograph. Do you recognize what's in that photograph, sir? Yes, sir. It's the vehicle I was driving that night. That's me. That's M Street, which faces east to west. And that's the location. Okay. And is that the location where your vehicle rested? Yes. Okay. All right. Judge, for purposes, I'm sorry, Commonwealth Exhibit Number 2 for admission, please. Any comment? No objection, Your Honor. All right. Good to be admitted. Okay, so your 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 vehicle is rested. Yes. What do you recall Mr. Masters doing at this time? As I'm coming to a stop and putting the car in the park, I can look back over my left shoulder and I see now Mr. Masters at a dead sprint to me and my vehicle. At that point, in, in my training experience, sitting inside the driver vehicle, or I'm sorry, driver's seat of a vehicle, it's one of the most deadly positions you can be in. You're trapped. It's basically a death trap. That's what we call it. So I immediately try to distance myself from the vehicle because I don't want to be sitting there. As I'm opening my door, I'm immediately yelling, police, 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 and putting my hands up. As I'm putting my hands up, Mr. Masters has now closed the distance and is swinging full force at my face. I have just enough time to cover my face as Mr. Masters strikes me, grazes my, the right side of, I'm sorry, the left side of my face and brushes off. As he does that, I'm continuing to announce police. I grab him by the inside of his shirt, pull myself to him, and push myself away from the car, and kind of go into 4th Street, turn, and then take him into M Street. 4th Street, it was 6 o'clock in the evening. It was rainy. It was dark. It was still a busy street. I wanted to get out of 4th Street. I wanted to get out of my car. As I'm driving, or I'm not driving, I'm pushing him into 4th Street. I'm continuing to yell police and he's continuing to swing on me and trying to strike me. Uh, the next, I, I'm continuing to get struck. I've kind of tucked inside of him. Detective Brownlee has now exited the passenger side of the vehicle I was driving and basically tackled both me and Mr. Masters. I kind of wind up on top, top of Mr. Masters who's continuing to strike me. I swing run, one time with the right fist and actually miss hitting Mr. Masters in his face. Hit the concrete, immediately come back with the left hand and hit him directly in his nose. I hit his nose and he was subdued. At one hit, he was done. We put him in handcuffs, rolled him over. That was it. That was the end of the confrontation. Okay. Um, do you recall whether you suffered any, any uh, injuries that, that evening? I had very slight redness and a little bit of swelling to the left side of my face. identification Commonwealth exhibit number three let me show you that photograph sir do you recognize what's in that photograph yes sir that's me okay does that photograph fairly and accurately depict your injuries on the uh, evening of December 7 2012 subsequent to your encounter with mr. masters yes sir it does okay judge Commonwealth exhibit number three admission segment Sigmeyer no your honor all right be admitted into evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. For purposes of identification, Commonwealth Exhibit Number Four. Do you recognize what's in that picture? Yes, sir. That's my uh, hands directly after an incident. Okay. Uh, do do this photograph uh, fairly and accurately depict the condition of your hands shortly after your encounter with the, the uh, defendant? Yes, sir. You can see on my hand where I've actually have uh, some scrapes on my right hand uh, knuckle where I miss and actually struck the concrete. Okay. And you see there's slight bleeding in my hands, right. or to my right hand. Thank you, sir. And uh, Commonwealth Exhibit Number Four. No objection. All right, it'll be okay. okay. And let me just take you back to Commonwealth Exhibit Number Three. Can I'm not sure if you may have said this, and I may have missed it. Can you? It, it, does this photograph? What does this photograph depict? It's the left side of my face. You can see some slight redness uh, directly uh, below my left eye. Okay. And. Uh, this redness is from 
being struck in the face, yes, sir. Okay, by Mr. Masters. Yes, sir. Okay. What did you do after that? Uh, after getting Mr. Masters subdued, we picked him up and we took him over to the side of M Street to get out of the, out of the middle of the intersection.